James, obviously it's a time for teaching fundamentals, but I'm curious, you know, compared to last year when you were installing a new offense, what are some things you can afford to do this year that perhaps you couldn't have a year ago? Yeah, you know, um, I really don't want us to approach it that way. I want us to approach it like they're all freshmen here in the offense for the first time. Same thing defensively and special teams. I think that's where you start to make mistakes when you start taking things for granted. Uh, so we don't want to do that. We'll, we'll never do that. Um, but to your point, you know, obviously there's a lot of retention. So you know, we're able to get a little bit more installed this year on day one compared to last year. So each day we're probably a little bit further ahead than where we were in the past, knowing that, that we're still going to go through everything in great detail, but there's a lot more retention, obviously. So um, you know, that's, really, that's really the only, the only difference. Yeah, right now we're not doing a whole lot of moving parts in practice. Um, you know, we, we're getting enough reps with the ones and the twos that you don't feel like you need to do that, and even the threes. Um, so we're, we're not at the point where we're moving guys around to try to figure out the best five. We're just practicing at this point and, and really you know, how we've started you know, practice in terms of who came out with the first team, who came out with the second team and things like that at every position, that's pretty much you know, stayed the same. We haven't, we haven't made any adjustments, um, hasn't been any position battles that we've made changes at this point. How is that adjustment for Lamont going, and how much is he benefiting from having some guys who have played a lot of football at those corner positions? I think it helps a lot. I mean, he's he's a different kid because he's already physically developed. It's not like he's 170 pounds. He's 190. Um, he's got tremendous confidence, as we all saw in high school, but sometimes that kind of goes away when you get to college. It hasn't gone away. He's got a lot of competitive confidence. Um, and he, and he seems to learn well. You know, Coach Galt mentioned that in the weight room. It's been the same thing on the field. He learns well, um, and he's made plays so far. So up to this point, it's been pretty good. You, know, you never know a week into this. Does he hit the wall as the installations continue to build up? Haven't seen that yet, um, so it's been good. I think he'll put himself in a position with a really good foundation this spring and be able to go into the summer with confidence and have a chance to legitimately compete. It's hard you know, as a true freshman to show up in the summer and, and compete for a job. The fact that he's been here and and been able to train and, and, and learn the stuff, it'll make them so much you know, further ahead than those other guys when they come in. And then the, the other advantage is now those guys that are mid-semester guys can be kind of mentors to their freshman classmates that are coming in because they've already kind of been here. How is the position battle going at safety opposite Marcus? I know you'd mentioned Aaron is a guy who's gotten more mature Monroe. How are those guys looking? What do you like that, what they're doing? Yeah, Aaron's been really good. Uh, he's so much more mature. He's so much more confident in kind of what we do and how we do things. Um, Nick, Nick Scott has probably had as good of an offseason as, as anybody on our team. Um, you know, so there's guys back there. It's nice to see Patricia back getting some good, good reps. Uh, so, you know, we feel like we got, you know, good depth. Uh, Garrett's another guy, um, you know, that we're excited about. So, you know, we're, we're in a little bit different situation now, but it's not like at this point anybody's really kind of stepped out. Um, we, we, we haven't done a whole lot of live work to kind of really evaluate it at the safety position. You know, coverage we're able to evaluate right now, but tackling is such an important part of that position. So we're still kind of wait to, wait to be seen.